Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The police killing of Flando Castile and Falcon Heights has forced police departments to take a closer look at racial inequity. And WCCO took a hard look at warnings and citations given by the St. Anthony Police Department. They patrol St. Anthony, Falcon Heights, and Lauderdale, where the population is roughly 79% white, 6% black. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily investigates. It's troubling that there are these disparities. At WCCO's request, U of M law professor Myron Orfield studied citations handed out by St. Anthony Police in 2015 and 2016. Last year, about 15% were issued to black people, roughly 60% to white people. Those numbers are consistent so far in 2016. What troubles Orfield is the demographic for the area is about 6% black. It looked like they were stopping uh, people about two and a half to three times as often as we thought what the driving population would be. It suggests that consistent with our old studies that there's police profiling going on in those communities. In 2003, Orfield co-authored a report on racial profiling during traffic stops in Minnesota. It was requested by the legislature. Well, St. Anthony Police did not participate. He says their current numbers mirror what he found in other Minnesota communities, that in Fridley, New Hope, Plymouth, Sauk Rapids, and Savage combined, Blacks were stopped about 310% more often than expected. And the fact that blacks were disproportionately stopped, that they were disproportionately searched, and that contraband was found less often uh, than when whites were searched. So those three things together suggested a pattern of racial profiling. Traffic citations given by the officer who killed Philando Castile match his department statistics. Of the tickets Officer Geronimo Yanez wrote in 2015, 16% went to black people, 44% to white. Similarly, in 2016, 16% were issued to black people, 58% to white. Now, the city of St. Anthony's website acknowledges higher arrest rates in communities of color. It says what has happened in our community heightens the broader awareness of this issue, as well as the need for a comprehensive and effective strategy to address the challenge. Amelia, Frank. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.